Rebels here, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So in the last episode, we got knocked out by uh, Mundo. Um, not Mundo, Mondo. Sorry, I've been playing League a lot lately. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we just woke up in uh, this room trying to figure out what's going on. Also, sorry for the fact that my shirt is uh, backwards because I have the camera inverted. So, sorry about that. But anyway, let's investigate the room that we're in. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Okay. We have more of these plates in here. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Hmm. Doesn't really make sense to me for there to be that. Oh yeah, by the way, I did mention before that the F1 through 12 keys don't work for me for accessing the menu. You can press X to open your uh, e-handbook as well. And you just scroll through and you can get um, all of the stuff. I didn't have to figure out how to access the transcript uh, later. Unless, unless report card... Oh, report card is the transcripts, right. Duh. Okay, so yeah, so I can access everything using the X key. So I just thought I'd mention that in case any of you guys are playing along with me and you happen to have an annoying HP laptop with this setup as well. well let's look at this. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Hm. Okay, that's handy. What's this? Hm. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Well, I would assume so. I'd better hang on to it for now. For now? What? What is this? Some kind of lint roller? I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Well, I would think so. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Oh, hey! I got a coin. Um, well, the game will explain what those do later. Um, or I can do right now. There's a... Remember the store that was closed earlier? We can use those coins at the store to buy presents. And that will come into um, play later on. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Okay, and we have a TV in here as well. I don't see anything else. Actually, what's this? Uh, there's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is tri troublesome, so make sure so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the vital body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. <laughs> I'm guessing this is where the tool kit is. Looks like there's something in the drawer. A tool kit. It must be brand new, it's still in the shrink wrap. I really don't need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. So we have a hammer, screwdriver, a pair of pliers. Looks like there's stuff underneath it too. Okay. Um, that's all to see in here other than the surveillance camera, but no point in really looking at that. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Huh. This is my assigned dorm room. Thanks for taking that this long to realize that. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. Probably Sakura. I feel like she's the only one who could really carry you with these. So that answers that question. The next question is... Huh, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, so now can I exit the room? Leave the area. 
Yes. Let's go. Let's see if we can meet up. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Ouch. Ah! Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Uh, are you okay, Sahaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Sure you have. That's good. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? Oh, that's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto! Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. Came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come with you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see, after you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found. Found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay, so let's head to the dining hall. Probably over here, I would assume. Yep. Hmm, this is a nice dining hall. Hmm, this must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Eh, I guess it's not really important right now, just being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Let me guess, you're just kidding? <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. For what? Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. Okay. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, you're going. Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. While purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction. At this point, you can use the WASD button to make a selection and press the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Okay, thanks. So let's talk to Sai. Hey, um, by the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> this will be the first one, then. Continuing our self-introductions. Uh, um, we kind of got cut off, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Did I almost ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. I got the feeling I was gonna back out of the dialogue. Hey, for that. um. Yeah, I know. You want to um, ask me something? What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Uh, Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually, yeah, I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Uh, do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kind of ultimate surrounding her. 
Ultimately, just that just mean her posse of friends? How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. My member did everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Uh, what are you talking about? You're so strange. Um, thank you? Strange, that's... <laughs> <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. Well, Makoto is crushing hard right now. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. You're amazing, Makoto. Uh, no, I'm really not. Yeah, he's really not, Sayaka. I'm nothing at all compared to you, Ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again, not those Ultimate students. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying that. Okay! And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your Ultimate Assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up. <laughs> it is nice, but still... Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm staring right at it. Hmm, so what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. I also like how everything changed to blue because it's nighttime. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I had to stay in this place too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like the time, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, uh, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I uh, guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win. No matter what it takes, justice shall always prevail. Seriously, Taka, I need you to calm down. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. A few after a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Okay. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. I like how Bay uh, Bayakia and Toka are just standing in the back, away from everyone. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Okay. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. Uh, what about, uh, what's her name? You know, silver-haired girl? Kyoko? <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Hmm. Uh, she's not here. <gasps> what? Uh, I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I actually didn't watch that previous, uh, little still drawing they had to see if she was actually sitting there, but I don't think um, it was. Uh, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Hmm, why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, doesn't... How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school. 
Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone that she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're really a, you're being a real J.A. right now, you know that? <clears throat> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare the first session of Hope Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I have talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know. Uh, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Sure, Sayaka. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. You know, you've already done so much as my assistant. So, I guess we have to talk to everyone else. Okay, and I have to tilt the camera, I guess. For some reason I can't... Mm. Oh. I can't talk to people right now. Oh, I guess I have to talk to Sayaka again? Um... Okay, so you're... So, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see! The Yakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoka. We're just gonna go through all of her dialogue to see what's in purple and then go back. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Hiro all grouped up together. Same goes for Hina, Sakuro, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Yumi were left over, so they joined up. Okay. okay. Let's talk to her again and um, ask about her purple stuff. You see. So let's get the Akiya first. Oh, this is how we talk to people, okay. I want to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <laughs> really? That's it? <laughs> if I uncovered anything, naturally I would have had more to say. But I didn't. So I don't. Oh, right. Understood. I feel like this is a convoluted way to talk to everybody else. Why can't we just click on people like before? You see? So let's talk to Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Congratulations. <sighs> well, yeah, I figured that one out before anything else. Yeah. yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name, precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in early is in fact my room. And plus... And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Oh um... wow. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom which could also lock. But, it looks like there were only locks in the girl bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? When I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird, I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than not have. They have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honors Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Wow, talk a great contribution. You are really useful in all of this. Um. You see. Right. So let's talk to these four. We all we went all up and down school, double checking the windows in the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was. Hmm. Nothing. Not a thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any help of escape anywhere. The school really has totally cut us. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 it bad, It really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Uh, calm down. I'm starting to be mean. Um... 
Uh, Junko is really not taking this well. You see? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, finally, something new. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. Why? Even with Sakura, Why? we both have been fudge. We hit it with desks, chairs, and nothing. <laughs> it was hard as, like, metal. Well, yeah, it is. Hard. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. Go, you sporty so type. Then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worthy worrying about. Okay. Both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that is the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Okay, so they had something um... to say, so that's good. So basically, we're restricted to the first floor, and um, you see. there's no way out. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. Well. We spent the entire time in the gym. Wow. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not the types to go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. The hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, c come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's all your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. I didn't want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Whoa! Whoa! Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me stick to my stomach. Are you for real? Uh, I, I don't even know how to react. How can you just say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on! Guys, oh, alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close. Close now, you're fighting like sisters. No, that's not it, Sayaka, but whatever. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... Uh, so, that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Yes, finally, we can hear your own. Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. We found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat some sesame seeds or something. <laughs> what? Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, and disappeared again. He's so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But, was everything okay? Did try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Shut up, you bad big fanatic. <gasps> Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sissy drunk dude. Actually. Not that there's a kind of, there's, not that there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey! Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die at any second. <laughs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. 
Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Hey, it's Kyoko. You're here. You! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? Looks like a map. It appears to be a map of Hotes Peak Academy. Uh, a map? I mean like the one that we already have that's on the tab key? What the? Where did you find this? Well... It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important... Uh, never mind that! What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hulk's Peak Academy. Oh right, because everybody was in denial that this is Hulk's Peak Academy. I forgot about that. So what you're saying is, this really is Hulk's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first four. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But... But, if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope Peak put this all together, right? A killing spree ceremony, entrance ceremony, and locking everybody inside the building. Sure. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. Oh, right. He's a fortune teller, clairvoyant. Spirit, whatever. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to him to say it was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We just didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind us. I still have no idea what's going on. Oh! Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. We just confirmed that this was Hope's Peak. I, I can't... Oh, whatever. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. <clears throat> Stop it! Now, don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to our living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability. It's a lack of survivability. She's the ultimate gambler, so I can kind of see why she would have that mindset. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm... We all understand that we are trapped here. Which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. They may anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class, punished accordingly, right? Let's see. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. I don't see anything wrong with that. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. 
I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I think you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little thought that we just said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Who said you can speak for all of us? What? Not for everybody. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So, everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then, if you will excuse me... Huh? Uh, huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see... It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Thought it was night time. It's 7 o'clock. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So, I guess it's pretty obvious where to go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. <laughs> um... Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for longer. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this so sucks. So we just have to give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Well then, we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um. Uh, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Okay then. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Yeah, but yours was locked, right? Yeah, it's no use. It really is locked. Oh, hello! Bzz, wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Wah -wah? Like some kind of robot bear ghost? Ugh, what are you doing here? What? Makoto Nagi! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh huh? In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your door has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, it's because the door just doesn't open? Hey! Um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? What? Uh -huh. well, it's not th well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the bo on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particularly ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? You just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob, lift the door up while I pull. I don't know why, but looking at it, it looks like it's a push door to me, but whatever. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait. Nope, he's gone. There we go. Here's the announcement, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Oh, right, it is the time starts at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought nighttime started at 7 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. 
Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I like how Monica was drinking a, a glass of wine there. <laughs> Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. I'm still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. I mean, you've had a very stressful first day of school. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or, like, some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Holtz Peak Academy. Soon enough I was asleep. It would be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but... I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. <laughs> Nanakuma Theater. In any normal school, Mr. Manakuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Awesome. Right, I guess it's morning now. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. The newfound determination, I left my room. Hey, Taka. And, um, I think I'm gonna go on ahead and, uh, save here. And I'll continue with this next time. And I'm gonna save in slot 4. But, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support me on Patreon. All three links will be in the description below and subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.